everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. Now, before we get into it, I want to say I am planning on getting more Witcher videos out per week. I know we've kind of dropped down to one, and that's not really enough. It's not enough for me, it's not enough for you guys. We're not getting enough Witcher. Now, it's just because we're going, we're going hard on Horizon because the sequel's coming out in a few weeks. So I, want, I just want to make sure that like we we can get through the game and enjoy it and do everything and then move into the sequel forbidden west and then you know but because of the timing i i just don't have enough time to record a lot of basically the witcher the last of us and horizon while trying to actually get horizon completed by the time the sequel comes out. So, I plan on doing more Witcher once once we like get caught up on everything. Because once 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 a week is not enough. It's not enough. <laughs> but uh the last episode we uh finished we finished the Bloody Baron storyline. We did. Where's all that faith coming from? And please I'm speaking here. Jeez. So, we finished the Bloody Baron storyline. We, um, I guess in a way, we saved Anna. She's she's still cursed pretty bad by the uh, the crones, but uh, the Baron took her to the mountains where he was gonna find a hermit that he knew that might be able to help heal her. You know, uh, and Tamara was there, so it was like a little family reunion. And we didn't fight the crones themselves. They sent uh, a huge beast <laughs> after after Anna, specifically. So we beat that thing. That was a really cool fight. That was a really cool monster. Um, but the witches are still technically out there. What are they doing? I don't know. We don't know. Will we see them again? Maybe. But I'm not sure. All I know is that... I feel like that was the best outcome we could have asked for. Like, realistically. You know? Like, his family kind of came back together a little bit. They're... Considering everything they've been through, that was... You know, the fact that they even talked to each other, honestly, was... F f nice. Um, but unfortunately, Tamara is tied to... The... <laughs> agreement with the Witch Hunters. And the, uh... The Eternal Fire. You know? So, she has priorities now, whether she wants them or not. But, now, what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to do a little bit, a little, we're going to do some size stuff. We're going to do some treasure hunting, and we're going to do some contracts, and then if we have time, we're going to go see Kira. But, uh, priority is, um treasure hunting specifically specifically because um right here the griffin school gear so uh in the comments in the last one uh jeff james you you mentioned that getting the griffin school gear was probably the next best thing to do specifically because it's a level 11 gear or we're level 10 and even if we're not at level 11 by the time we get them all it's still a significant upgrade and I didn't really realize it until recently, but we're we're wearing a level three armor, oh level six boots and level five pants. Wow, we're so, so yeah, gear gear that's like up to the level we are is good. It's a good thing. Um, bought some saddlebags so we have more weight, so I'm not maxing out from looting like one area because that was that was kind of a detriment but we're gonna start we're gonna start hunting down the witcher the witcher school gear for the griffin school which i wonder seeing that it's like the griffin school and the wolf school there's like the cat school and the bear school now obviously i feel like they're all different oh the viper school that's right we know about the Viper School too. 
Now, it's just got me thinking like their their armors probably are all very different, not just aesthetically, but for the sake of um, like their combat styles, you know. And then like they have they have their own weapons and everything. So I'm keep, it, interesting. Curious if the Griffin School gear is gonna really, you know, push it to prioritize or what it excels at. That's what I mean. So this one is oh, that's oh, that's a ways away. Oh, so it's a question mark. Cool, just outside uh, Reardon Manor and Down Warren. Oh shit, there's one up here. What we got? This is ominous. Oh, here's a path. Is this path? Yeah. Oh shit. A place of power. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Oh hell yeah. The Gearden? And we gain an ability point. Ooh, some... Angranian Curus. Curos. Is it better? Probably, honestly. It's a good bit better. Uh, the only thing we have is the Quen Glyph in there. And, you know, the one we have reduces monster damage. But only by 4%. Oh, that is not a, that is not a great color, but that's okay. Uh, we'll put the Quen one in there, and hopefully we get a good steel sword. We can put some of these in, or find better ones to replace these. But these are actually pretty good. Okay, so yeah. All right, cool. That was one. So. Now, let's uh, actually go to the Griffin. Oh God, this functional. All right, let's go to this Griffin armor or whatever it is. Actually, it could be anything. Cause I know we picked up we picked up a few maps. You know, over the course of our our travels. So. Oh, stop it. So. With the multiple maps, it could be that um, they split it up. Oh. Okay. Are you are you are you gonna be too strong for us? Oh, they're so ugly. and warriors. Oh, he's he's going. He's going away. He's on his own. <laughs> Alright. You... I have no quarrel with you. But I guess you're going to cause issues if we don't. And they give us blue mutagen, so that's cool. That's all lesser. I'm wondering, can we get like a... A good medium sized one. This is interesting. Oh, hey. Hmm. Might want to look around some. That's not the wolf symbol. Oh. If, if it's the Griffin School gear hiding place, then it looks like a Griffin. Oh, shit. We took that out so quickly. It uh, it was fine. Nice, good shit. But 
more mushrooms. What do we got in here? Oh shit. Oh wow, there's a lot of chests in here. Cool. Okay, and I gotta say, uh, thanks, thanks for multiple people in the comments over the course of this playthrough, uh, suggesting the gourmet skill, because that has hands down been so useful <laughs> for, well, a lot, a lot. <laughs> The fact that I can just, like, you know, use one food item, and I'm healing f from that for a bit. Wow, a lot of shit here. A weapon repair kit, thank god. You know, I gotta buy, actually buy some of those. Let's turn on some lights. Good stuff. Oh, you're fancy. Are you it? Runestone, sap, axeman's boots, and torn out cockatrice decoction. Nice. A chain, a sword, horse hide and twine. Okay. Interesting. There's something. There's something where. Oh. Powder Pearl, Alkahest, Hunter's Boots Diagram, Wraith Decoction, Hunting Boots, uh, another one of those. Sick. Oh! Search, search the Witcher George's grave. Is that. Down the hall. Yes. Um, oh. Ah, shit. You know what? I, I really should just be using this. It's. It's incredibly obvious. Plus, I'm all juiced up from the place of power. Like. I, I really. So obvious. Well, ain't that a <laughs> ain't that a trick? Oh. Oh, this is unfortunate. Okay. So somebody died down here. All right. Let's see. We have the key. Just in, just in case. Oh, oh God. Come on. I like that silver. Oh shit! It's the fucking explosive mushroom fumes. I remember how this goes. It was terribly. so hard like don't don't let the don't let the mushrooms keep fuming afterwards oh you were all the way over there cool ignite this one ignite this one did I miss something down here
Okay, I don't think so. Just keep going forward. Oh, okay. Okay. This is interesting. Uh, that stench. Oh, shit. What the fuck? You're like a giant bat. Uh, actually, it's a What the fuck? Okay. I know, like, middle of the fight. We... F I don't think we fought one of these, have we? Kimara hide that is hopefully gonna be useful. The longsword, the slaughter of Sintra. Slaughter of Sintra. The cavalcade of riders pounded across the blood soaked courtyard. They looked at no one and asked no questions. They knew exactly where they were going and why to kill the old queen and capture the Sintran princess. As to what would become of her after that, no one would say. Helen and a group of her most loyal subjects had barricaded themselves inside the castle. They were protected by stone walls and a gate sealed by a spell. They all realized neither would last long against a concentrated assault by the Nilfgaardian army and the mages supporting it. After four days, enemy soldiers forced their way inside. Oh, they just killed everybody. Damn. That's... Uh... Can I, can I just light it by... Hitting it with the... Ah, yeah! <laughs> cool! Sick! Oh, which... Oh, shit! Hell yeah! His journal, armor, trousers, boots, and gauntlets! Oh, shit! Okay, that was... Yeah! Shit. Okay, we got four pieces of it. Okay, his journal. Having heard rumors of a dragon, I raced at full speed to Valen. Sadly, I was dragged away from my hunt by by the prefects of Gors Valen. They summoned me as an expert to solve the riddle of a string of shipwrecks suspected to be the work of night wraiths. <laughs> Seems a dragon ravaging the countryside is a lower priority than blocked trade routes. Luckily, I was able to solve the riddle of the lone lighthouse quickly and raced off after the dragon. I learned that the peasants from the ravaged villages had taken shelter in the elven catacombs under Lake Windemar. Windemar. Wise. Yet they were not wise enough to bring firewood, and so warmed themselves by burning elven manuscripts. Wow. No! It aches my heart to think the knowledge about the Alder folk went up in those flames. At least a few of the manuscripts survived, including some highly interesting sketches of armor. Yet enough of that. Eyewitnesses have reported ashen scales, height at haunches, 2 fathoms, length 5 fathoms. Addendum. Estimated weight approximately 14 quintals. What are these measurements? Quintals? Is that a real, is that a real thing? Able to maintain a high temperature in its bellows, dragon lungs, for longer than a quarter of an hour. Oof. Conclusion, we're dealing with a green dragon. Commencing hunt. Is it an actual dragon? What do we got here? Okay. Any, uh... So many candles. 
Oh shit here, yeah. A lot of just a lot of alcohol and food. I guess enough to keep them uh keep them taken care of. Come on. Got to get over on this side. Ballads and hymns. Uh, okay. Hold, 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 hold on. Okay. I think we found everything in here. Hmm. Now. Something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? Oh yeah, the. Yep, that thing. Damn, he's dead. Okay. Oh, 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 I just like stood right in it. Ew. Can I, can I look at it? Guess not? Okay. Just knows some shit went down. Was it the dragon? Okay. <laughs> search the ruins of the fortress by the lighthouse and search the lord's castle. Oh, this treasure hunt is going further than I thought it would. Oh wow, those are two very, very distant places. Okay. Alright, cool. Let's, let's go over... Uh, Go over by the lighthouse. It's gotta be interesting. And then we'll uh, we'll swing up here after. And then, because we have four of six, so if those two have the last two pieces, then we got we got the whole thing. Cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, how do we get down? What do we got here? Oh shit. Uh, oh god, so many harpies! Come on. Oh. You bitch. Cool. Oh hell yeah. Execution. Oh, you're still alive. That is unfortunate. That's okay, I took care of that. Uh, loot. Oh, there's these ones, and then this one. Yeah, cool. Alright, what is... Oh, shit. Is that an actual dragon? Are we ready for that? When? When? Damn. Alright. Alright, so we gotta find some way in here. Oh, place of power! Guess I can't hit it from here. I have to push it down from the other side. That's right. That makes sense. So should I jump off the bridge? Maybe enter this from a different way? Oh! I guess I missed the uh, thing up here, diagram and fear. Ooh, we have more sort. Ooh, ooh, that's what that one is. Oh, shit. Okay, so we, we... We <laughs> mastercrafted silver sword, and then Anferth. That is a very powerful silver sword. Holy hell! Ah damn! The Viper sword we have, like we can craft it. It's not as good as the one we have currently. 
Oh, bye, Roach. So, curious. Oh, shit. Okay, that was, uh... I didn't think it happen already. Oh, it's so, it's so loud. The screech. Not good. What up, bitch? Did it die <laughs> from hitting the water? Did it die from fall damage? Oh my god. Okay, uh, gotta find a way to gotta go get it. <laughs> oh my god, did I break it? Oh shit. Because I still hear it flapping and screaming. I don't know if that's the harpies. It's gotta be. Or it's because. You know, didn't take into account that that was a death that I would make it face. Oh, nice. Nice. A wyvern egg. Oh, it wasn't a dragon. It was a wyvern. Or a wyvern, depending on, you know, how you feel about that. Oh, God. Oh, shit. God damn it. Mm, magic. Oh, no, no. A place of power. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Alright, the drawbridge is down. I don't know how I was supposed to do it. I feel like that was that was the right way, right? To, like, jump across there and climb up the edge. I could not find another way. That's okay, because now we're inside. What awaits us in here? Treasure? Knowledge? Both? Ooh. Oh, another saddle. Nice. Got these precision bolt enhanced cursed oil. Ooh. Nice. So we got more. We got, uh. We can make a better cursed oil. It's the same saddle, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess we could sell that one. Gnomish? We here. Or Gwai here. No oh, Mishkwe here. It's down here. Hello. Pants. That and a hatchet. Oh. Or. How to avoid colossal vessels. Like ships? On the rolling deep when there's nothing to rest your eyes upon save the horizon, you get lulled into a false sense of security which can easily spell your doom. No man knows the day or the hour, nor does any sailor w know when a small dot on the edge of his vision will turn into a Nilfgaardian Dramond, race Dramond racing towards him. Its sails puffed full and its prow ready to cleave its hull like an axe. Prevention is the first and best way to avoid such collisions. Just keep your eyes pried wide open. Even when the waters are smooth as a newborn's hindquarters, <laughs> and there's not a speck of land nor a hint of foreign flag to be seen. When vision fails in dark or murk, one must keep an ear cocked, especially in the waters near Skellige. For the oarsmen of the arch archipelago add muster to their rowing, with song and their thunderous voices carry far. So they can often be heard before they are seen. And it's a powerful boon that they thus reveal themselves, for a collision with a Skellige longship damns one doubly. <laughs> for the vessel itself is armored prow to stern, while inside are ferocious, battle-hardened warriors. Badass. 
Hell yeah. Skele so Skelegus sounds great. I can't wait. What do we got in here? More stuff? That place of power is humming. Oh. Just drop down? Oh. Ow. Okay. Now let's top off our our food. Ooh. No thank you. I'm gonna heal before we do that. Oh hello. Alright, empty bottle of that. Tracker's gauntlets. Nice. Torn out page of the catacomb deco decoction. Spikerug Akaton. Ooh. Air Earlithrad. Silver Sword. Yeah, good stuff. Is that good? Ooh, it is stronger. It's better than our Moon Blade. Technically. Its base damage is. However, we've got three three slots on that one, so. This one looks kind of cool, but ours is still better. Our pants. It's technically a little better. I'll put them on for now. Alright, let's go. We feel. Mobility is limited underwater. Use your crossbow to defend yourself against foes. Yes. Luckily, I have been learned this. And if I just tap it, it auto aims, so I don't even have to really think about it. Luckily. Because aiming underwater sounds just like a pain. You know. Especially how fast everything moves and flips around. Oh. Wait, I could, we could have entered here? God damn it. <laughs> Over here, trying to scale the walls. Okay. Okay, hold on. Rebellion's humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. We missed something. We missed the main treasure. We gotta go back. That's right, there's this up way. Here we go. Mastercrafted Silver Sword. Ooh. Okay. They're heading the good shit here. That is also better. It's actually better than... It's the best weapon we have. <laughs> Damn. I just really love the Moonblade. Obviously, probably gonna switch it out. Because that is a better sword. We need the upgrades when we can get them. But. Moonblade's just something special. Okay, what do we got in here? Another mask. You just got all the silver swords hanging out up here. Ooh. Dobermere's journal. I was chewing my head off about going to the lighthouse. About the fire needing tendon. Thing is. Don't give a plow and rat's ass about it. What am I? Some golem? Fit for naught but climbing up there four times a day to drop off wood and pour oil? I'd much rather learn how to work a forge in town or at some gnomish foundry. Grandpa Amsvari was a smith, weren't he? he? Even forged witcher blades. So who's to say none of his talent trickled down to me? Okay. Sapper's trousers. Lesser glyph of art and some hardened leather. Nice. Still goods, but there's still more to be found. Keep them up at the top. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, dude. You got fucked up. It's a fucking dragon. Wyvern. Silverton sword. Dark iron silver ore. still missing something. Okay. 
Hold on. I just want to take a second, actually. Like, look at that. Every, anytime a game can give a vista like that, looks great. Oh my god. There was a ladder right here. I didn't even see it. Oh my god. What a fool. <laughs> oh. No Mishkwe here. That one's magical though. Still not as good. However, the bonus. Axie sign intensity, critical hit damage, critical hit chance. Yeah, if anything, we can get some good, good cash for selling that stuff. Okay, so same with these. Hell yeah! All right, what do we got? Empty bottle. Just a nice sharpener right here. Some hunting trousers, and is this is this it? There it is. Crafting notes and the Griffin Silver Sword. We can craft the sword. Now there's a commission I haven't seen the like of in ages. Got a visit from that Witcher the Baronet summoned about them evil powers took over the lighthouse and were crashing ships against the rocks. He stood there in the doorway to my forge, looking noble as a prince or duke or something. Said his silver sword got damaged during his last job. Blade was chipped bad, almost broken in two spots. I asked how he expected me to know how to fix a weapon like that. Gave me a diagram and said I was to forge him a new one and promised quite the sum in return. Damn near tucker myself out making that thing. I, I did my apprenticeship with Master Barnaby of Novigrad and I've made a Witcher blade or two in my life. But it's been over three years since I last touched anything of the sort. In the end, doesn't matter, though. Before I could finish, the Witcher figured out what was going on with the lighthouse and had to make haste to the Baroness Castle for the rest is illegible. Oh. Something happened. Interesting. Cool, we got the, we got the next piece. We can craft the sword. Craft the Griffin Silver Sword. That is, oh my god, that is an upgrade. Holy shit. Only blacksmiths can forge weapons and only armors can craft armor. Yeah, so. Item must be upgraded to Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. Which are those after using stamina, standard sign modes. Let's see. Oh, so this is very much sign, sign boosting for Griffin, Griffin stuff. Okay. Okay, cool. So if we get all these, then that means we'll be, we'll be pretty juiced. We will be pretty juiced sign wise. Ah. Okay. Hell yeah. Cool. And then the wyvern's dead in the water. Okay, now we gotta go to the Lord's Castle, which is ways away. So this is it. The Lord's Castle. Oh, there we go, Roach. Majestic. A relic of, an, of a different time. Oh, Indrega. Alright, let's do it. Uh, you know, that's how I do smell absolutely awful. Good thing I sharpened our sword before we came here. This is actually working out. Oh my god, it's fucking tail.
There we go. What did we learn? Drag of armor plates. Alright. Treasure awaits us. I don't know what other piece of gear we're missing. Do they make steel swords too, or just silver swords? I think, oh shit, that's unfortunate. And I'm not to add more. Book is burned, only a few pages still intact. Evis, Evis Milan. Okay, so it's like. Elvish? I don't know. I wonder, is there a way to translate that? Dude died in the cage, though. Horse got... Horse got torn apart. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I just walked through. That's fine. That also worries me because it feels like... Are there fucking spiders? Not a fan. That was a monster nest? All right, what is it? Lost your nerve. Oh, it's harpies. Okay. I was ready to be something dangerous. Let's go. Just a bunch of overgrown chickens. Bunch of griffin wannabes. Oh. Sorry, but also, like, not. Harpy eggs. Just taking their eggs from them. Lots of mutagens. It's a shame we can only Harpy's got go equip one. Here. Just toss it in there. Yep. Punch items, oh, currency upon use. Yeah, meditation replenishes them, so. There it is. It's got a monster nest. However, it's not really why we're here. <laughs> Hello. Richard George's confession. Okay. Felon axe. Okay. I, the undersigned George of Kagan, Kagan, a witcher by trade, testify as follows. While traveling through Valen, I received a summons to provide professional testimony in the matter of the accused Bartislav of Love, Lovefield. Uh, ah. This Bartislav stands accused of causing several shipwrecks near the lighthouse, which is his duty to keep. Ships led astray by errant signals from his lighthouse are repeatedly smashed against rocks near the shore, and the lighthouse keeper is held to be responsible for this state of affairs. During the trial, Bartislav testified that he was diligent in the fulfillment of his duties, and the accidents were caused by night wraiths deceiving sailors with their false glow. Having investigated the area, I can testify that I found no trace of night, night wraith activity. There are likewise no signs of noon wraiths. Mamoon, Mamones, air nymphs, or any other specters in the habit of misleading weary travelers journey by foot, sea, or horse. I did, however, find the catas catastrophe's true cause. They were, n they were not the fault of the night wraiths blamed by the accused, but neither were they the fault of the lighthouse keeper himself. The accidents were caused by local hooligans who have taken to lighting fires on the hill at night and then robbing the ships that subsequently wreck upon the shore. I was put on their trail by Bartislav's son, who showed me the ashes from their misleading fires. My testimony shows that the lighthouse keeper Bartislav Lovild is not guilty of the crimes of which he stands accused and should be freed. I also humbly ask for the, for the bailiff to put the lighthouse keeper and his family under his protection for 
In light of the revelations, Barslav's son led me to discover they will surely be certain parties with cause for vengeance. I cannot undertake the task of protecting the family myself, for I have accepted a contract to kill a dragon said to be lurking atop the Crookback Hills, and so must return there post-haste to kill the beast and complete my task. Signed, George George of Kagan, Witcher. Transcribed by Vicenzo Stock, Marshal of the Royal Prefecture of Gors Velen. Wow, that was heavy. That was a lot. And a steel sword. Holy shit, they do. Okay. Okay, a lot a lot of things just have that's really I love that. So So the lighthouse There was nothing I, the issue was nothing to do with the lighthouse. And I know like this wasn't even anything that affected us. It's just interesting seeing and reading stuff that's like happening in the world. And everything that's going on just makes the world feel bigger, basically, yeah. And I think it's cool. Oh, boy. So, may the gods smile upon you and me, sis. Now I'm asking you to read this careful. For what I got to say is important. As soon as you set hands on this writing, gallop off to that fence Kramer was based in Maribor. Kramer was based in Maribor. Then we've got some first class gear and Witcher Sword diagrams to sell. I, I can see you now, scratching your head, or more likely your arse, and asking, Did I hear that right? You sure did. It was my luck to come to care for a witcher, and what got one foot in the grave and t'other hovering right above. I was sat there looking at the poor man suffering agony, thought to myself, You don't need this kit and these papers where he's going. Well, for us, the that's the fixings we need to get us started in the world of business. We sell them for the right price, that is. I I hear you friends, stop. I didn't take everything. In fact, nobody will even realize out of his shit's missing. Sad though, ain't it? This witcher's a good man. First he helped the baronet solve the riddle of that lighthouse that was sending ships into the rocks, then he killed that dragon, ate all the peasants. Problem is, dragon's no easy pickings, and our valiant hero got quite the lick in taking it out. He's done for, that's certain. So as soon as they bury him in the tomb of Crookback Hills, I'll head straight to your place. Come to think of it, I'm curious how they'll put him in that crypt after all. For forward is a vampire's made it his lair. P.S. I also lifted a few flasks off the Witcher, and since they're not to survive the journey, reckon I'll sample them myself. See how Witcher Hooch goes down? Maybe we'll make a business out of that too. Your brother-in-law, A. Ballstick. Is that him? Is that him? I... Or is that... Because I don't think that's the Witcher. Because I think this is the... Basically, the Witcher that is this is the one that we found in the tomb like several episodes ago. And he died in there. Right? If I'm, if I'm thinking that right, or we've never actually come across this guy. But either way... It's interesting. Damn. I guess it's it is sad to sad to know that a when a witcher dies. Most people die, but you know. When a witcher dies doing doing what he's supposed to do. It's a shame. It's a shame the world the world can always use more witchers to protect us. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, but that means now we have we have the ability to craft the Griffin Steel Sword, which is still a significant upgrade. We have all the stuff. We just can't equip it. Okay, so we just gotta level up. Just gotta level up. Easy, easy. So. The Pirates of Novigrad, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to go to Novigrad. However, we're going to do Kiramets. I think the next thing we're going to do before that one is... Uh, let's go back to Jenny. Hey, Jenny. We tried, we tried this before. And uh, Jenny beat the shit out of us. But now, you know, we've leveled up a bit since then. We got a little 
I don't even know if our gear is any different, honestly, since we last tried. But we're going to give it a whack. We're going to take out Jenny of the Woods. <laughs> See how that, you know, do the right thing. Okay, so back here, we sharpened, sharpened up our sword, boosted our armor a little bit. Now, we're going to talk back to this guy. We talked to him before, but, you know, just hear what he has to say anyway. Greetings. What do you want? Zula and Bakai. Did you know them? They must have lived in this village. Good God, he knows? Tis witchery. They disappeared, both of them, into thin air. We've not seen them a week now. I found the girl's grave and a letter. It's clear she rejected Bakai because she loved another. Zula and Ontan, I. We thought they'd fled north to seek happiness there. Wakai departed around the same time. So that's to mean our Zula's the Wraith. Can't be. Such a good lass. And so pretty. Any idea where they used to meet? Well, can't say for sure. But the young'uns, they go to the clearing, mostly west of the village, past the fields. Zula. Good gods. No way I can hope to lift this curse. I've got to drive the wraith away. Stand a chance Oof. if I can bind it to one spot for a while. Damn. Ah. It's rough. Everything that happened here. It's a damn shame. Alright, we need... We need Erden. To really, to really, to really stand a good chance, you know. Oh. Okay. Then what is that up there? Is that a, is that a, like a bandit? Bandit camp. So I guess we can do that afterwards. Want to make sure we. Uh, all right. Let's give it a shot. Jenny, we're coming for you. The night wraith won't appear in daylight. That should be fine, right? Is that late enough? The night wraith won't appear in daylight. Oh, actually has to be nighttime. Got it. Oh shit. Dude, Jenny is so powerful. Oh. Jenny, I'm sorry. Oh, God. You're so really resilient. Wait. I have no fool. Jenny, Jenny's just a specter, right? Yeah, she's a, she's just a specter. So if I can make specter oil, which I think we, oh no, I should have done this before. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this this time. It's gonna be great. We got, we got our food buff on. We got the Spectre Oil now. We'll put on our new sword that we got. It's a lot stronger. So, let's go, Jenny. You're really, you're really, really strong. Come on. You're proving to be a real, real challenge. It might just be me. Oh, Jenny. Oh. See, this is what I mean. she's healing here. Right? I don't know how to stop that healing process. Other than just trying to kill the copies as fast as possible. Maybe that's the only way. But I am unsure. Okay, 
Let's go. Jenny. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Oh, oh wait, she didn't do copies. Okay, that, that works out for us. Oh, Jenny. Okay, we gotta apply the oil again. Spectre oil. Okay. Oh, now it. Here we go. You're done. You're done. You're done. Okay. Nope, Jenny. You're not getting away this time. Jenny. Stop it. Stop with this nonsense, Jenny. Not having it. Jenny. Dead. Night Wraith Hair. Dark Essence. Night Wraith Mutagen. Forgotten Vran Sword. It's a relic. Oh shit. Nice. And a Night Wraith Trophy. Yo. Hold up. First off, what is this? That's a steel sword. It is not as good as our current one, but maybe it's worth it because it can be incre enhanced. So we can put these things in it. Some burning. Armor piercing is always good. Chance to stun. Chance to poison. Chance to poison. Okay, cool. Then we got the... Uh... What does the trophy do for us? The one we just got. Night Wraith. Uh... Bonus to... And Noon Wraith. Okay, so they do the same thing. Just depends which one we want. Noon Wraith and a Night Wraith. Hell yeah. We got Jenny of the Woods. She's done. Oh. But now. Wrong one. <laughs> With figure. Fuck. Oh shit. Sorry, guy. Shame. Alright, now I can take all your guys' shit. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't more of you. Is there supposed to be? Guess not? I see the dots on the map, but I guess... I guess not, okay. Well... Well, that worked out. <laughs> yeah, it's done. Cool, let's go turn this in and, uh... Collect our reward for taking out Jenny of the Woods. Let's see... That, that just reinforces the, you know, preparation. And I love that. Because you can run into it. You can run into something and just try to, like, punch through it. Like, I have done sometimes. And it's not great. But if you prepare, you take the time to, like, figure out the weaknesses, the oils you need, the, in the future, decoctions we can use. You know, stuff like that. That's easy. Not at all. You know, you plan for if you have to... Uh, meditate beforehand and so you know if you have to meditate to be a certain time or if you need to heal and meditation is the best way to heal by doing that you know you if you can compensate for, for using your potions and everything after you meditate I basically long story short before I ramble on uh, it's cool and I'm, I'm kind of 
trying to get better at actually preparing and thinking things through before <laughs> taking on dangerous creatures. Greetings. What do ye want? Uh, got rid of her. Jenny of the Woods is gone. Got rid of her. She'll not be back. No, I know how to dispatch night wraiths for good. <laughs> Aye, of course. Your reward has agreed. Many thanks to ye, Master Witcher. Farewell. Heck yeah. 275. Pleasure doing business. Place is a little bit safer now. Sorry. Sick. Hell yeah. Now, real question, what do we do next? I think... Oh yeah, we could do this one too. Contract over in Valen. And the swamp thing. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, so unfortunately I have actually run out of time that I have to record this episode. I know we didn't get a whole ton of things done, but I'm going to kind of double down on the next one and, you know, get more contracts. We're going to go see uh, Kira, Kira Metz again. Um, so some other contracts to do. And once we're level 11, you get the Griffin stuff. That's going to be nice. It's going to be great. Ah. I look forward to it. I can't wait. So, for real, 100%. Stick around for the next one. I'm gonna try to get it out as soon as possible, but for real. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I know the witches aren't coming out as fast as we all like them to, and we're not getting as much witcher, but we will, I promise. I promise to swear. So, thank you again. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.